Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. It's been a little bit that I've done a sit down video with you guys, meaning actually sitting down and speaking to you guys. I've missed you guys. How are you? It's been maybe, when was the last time I posted my last video? Oh my God, it was literally a month ago. So I did end up taking a month off. I've not been feeling well I had some things to do I kind of wanted a little tiny break just to reset my mind because it's been a little bit hectic but I'm back and I'm excited because Christmas is literally just around the corner and I am so excited to do a whole bunch of makeup looks and share these things with you guys again so let's get started with today's video by the way if I sound a little bit stuffy it's because I am um the weather over here just changes so much and it's just messing me up so that's why i sound like this okay so today i'm pretty excited because as you know ColourPop is always coming out with a whole bunch of different things there's always different themes and collaborations that color pop comes out with and usually because they always come out with so many things i usually don't jump on the on every single wagon because of christmas and because of the color collaboration that it was with i immediately wanted to get this i think it's still available on their website if you guys want to go check it out and it is the rudolph the red nose reindeers collab with color pop and because christmas is literally like i said around the corner i wanted to try this out of course the packaging got me so i'm super excited let's jump into this okay this is the rudolph the red nose reindeer press powder palette she is so cute this is still in the box this is how it comes in in the little box she's so cute on the little slide i'm so excited okay um, it is a little bit heavy, so it is feels good quality, pretty, pretty, pretty heavy. And same packaging. Let's open her up. So she looks like this. It's of course they all always come with a little mirror, and these are the this is the palette. I didn't get the whole collection because I felt like I didn't need everything. I only wanted to try out the palettes and I got some lip duels which I'll get into in a little bit. Can you guys believe I started this video and I didn't even prime my lids. Usually, I'm usually all primed and everything before. Okay so first things first I'm gonna go ahead and use the shade Mush 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 and just apply this uh, sort of a transition shade. And of course, so far, the ColourPop shades are always a hit, so no complaints here. I'm going to go into the shade Kazooks, and it, it is a brown warm tone, like a darker brown warm tone shade. And just add this towards the end of the eye and lifting it up a little bit over that first shade we added. Should I zoom you guys in? Don't know why I decided to go with a cool tone, the cool tone shade today, but I'm digging it. Okay, I do want to use a little bit of the burgundy red shades that are in here because my favorite color. Yeah, so I just want to incorporate it into the video. So I'm going to use the shade Full Power, which is right here, which is kind of a burgundy reddish shade. I'm going to grab, oh, there goes the first fallout. A little bit a little tiny brush and just add a little bit to the outer corner of the eye just on top of that Gadzook shade and just drag it a little bit in just like that and just blend Kind of like that and we're gonna grab a clean brush and just blend it in okay 
perfect. I'm going to grab a concealer and I am just going to add a little bit of concealer on my lids. I'm not going to really... I need a smaller brush. I'm not going to really cut the crease, but I do want the shade to pop a little bit. So I'm going to grab a little bit of my Tarte Shape Tape and apply some to my eyelids. And I'm just doing this inner part right here. And now with that same shade, I mean that same brush, I'm going to go and dip into the shade North Pole, which is this beautiful champagne shimmer shade that we have here. And we're just going to pop it on top of the concealer that we applied. so gorgeous honestly the camera and the lights are not doing this justice but in person it is beautiful i'm actually not gonna leave it on the crease i just want to lift it up i'm gonna lift it all the way up here so it kind of just connects so it's just not this bottom part i'm gonna put it all a little bit over the crease line and she is beautiful i'm actually going to apply the rest of my face on my lashes the whole shebang and we'll be right back to finish this review and we're back my face is on i applied my foundation my my foundation concealer bronzer powders the whole shebang and let's jump right back into the palettes i am going to apply some to my my waterline is it me or does this my lash look a little bit wonky I don't know I don't want to mess it up so we're just gonna leave it as it is okay I do want to go back into the full power shade and apply it to our lower lash line because again I love this red this burgundy shade gonna apply some right on the bottom of the lash line the lower lash line so so pigmented it's insane and then dragging it out at the end just like that and we'll do the same thing here okay I am gonna add some liner on the lash on the lower lash line, I do want to add some eyeliner if I can just find it. Okay, I'm going to use the Essence Extreme Lasting Eye Pencil. It's the first time I'm using this, so let's just hope it is good. Boy, is that pigmented. Creamy and easy to use. That liner was so inexpensive and it's so creamy. I actually kind of want to intensify that shade all the shades actually so I'm gonna go back into it and just intensify everything that burgundy shade though I'll tell you it is very there's a lot of fallout there so just beware be careful and I am gonna intensify the shimmery shadow shade don't you love how I said that so I am going to wet my brush and pick some more up and just kind of intensify everything i'll tell you guys i'm already in love with this look this eye look i love it so much it is so pretty so pigmented these shades are amazing there is a little bit of fallout but other than that i love it okay so let's go ahead and set our face and we'll jump right into the lip products okay so um these are the only two lip products that were in the collection and of course packaging is adorable this is the packaging packaging this is the packaging and this is claris and this is rudolph and they're just so cute i love it so much okay so this one is i think you're cute 
and this is a packaging of course and you get both a lipstick a luxe lipstick and a lippy pencil so this is what comes in them both and it is so cute oh, this one's so pretty so this is a lip pencil and let me just swatch them for you and the lipstick is just so beautiful it's so glittery and so festive i love it so much i'm terrible at swatches so horrible and this is there's always tomorrow again a luxe lipstick and a lippy pencil there goes rudolph he's so cute and i'm assuming this one's more on the red side oh it's more of a burgundy tone so again same thing let me just swatch this oh, it's so nice and same type of packaging i'm the worst at showing you guys things and the lipstick oh, it's so pretty so here are the shades and so you get a you get like a, a, a more of a brown pinkish tone lipstick and more of a burgundy reddish yeah it's like a purple undertone red okay so question is which one do i wear hmm did we go all festive today let's just go all in i'm gonna go ahead and take the rudolph shade and we're gonna line our lips so creamy and pigmented and we're gonna go ahead and jump into the shade rudolph and this is a cream shade so I don't know okay so this is the Rudolph lipstick and we're gonna go ahead and try the the I think you're cute duo. So let's go ahead and pop her on. Well, for me, this shade is it literally doesn't show anything. Nothing pops up. This, of course, is not my shade, but here we go. This is more of a muted shade but it's a pretty nude pretty pretty nude and this is the shade i think you're cute which is the claris all right so i think we basically tried everything out i absolutely love everything i love the eyeshadow palette it is so beautiful and so inexpensive and i'll put the link down below to everything that i used here today on the rudolph collection i loved it the pigmentation of course ColourPop never fails when it comes to their eyeshadows very inexpensive a little bit of fallout but mainly almost every eyeshadow has fallout these days so i love that one the lip pencils the lippy sticks of course ColourPop kills it with their lip liners i absolutely love them and i use them all the time and i will continue to do so i'm gonna add these two to my collection on my everyday collection that i have sitting in front of me and whoop that just flew out and yeah i will continue to use this this is absolutely great i love it and i don't know if they have the option of purchasing this on its own i will definitely check even though i don't think i saw it i think they only come in a duo but these are really really good the lipsticks are also really nice i'm i'm more of a matte gal and i know matte is out right now and you know the shiny lip is in but i love my matte lipsticks i love how they look i don't really like the transfer on anything so Again, I'm a mad girl at heart, but these are really, really nice. Um, the shades are really, really pretty. Pre they're easy to use. They glide on like a dream. Really, really nice. The only thing with this is that I don't think I'll get a whole bunch of use out of this. This shade in particular, Clarice, it is too too mute for me it's too light it is not a good uh, it is not a good new tone for me it kind of washes me out so this one i can live without the rudolph cream shade 
this one's really, really beautiful. It's the one I have on now. It's really nice. It, again, same thing, glides on like a dream. If I had to choose between the two, I would go in with the Rudolph. But do I need these? Would I purchase them again? No. I wish they had, or like, again, I said, I'm going to check if they have the lip liners on its own because the lip liners are beautiful. But if they don't, I'll definitely purchase the duo just solely for the lip liners because they're really, really good. And if I had to choose one item off this collection, it would be the eyeshadow. It's really, really beautiful. You guys should go out and check it out. That completes this video. I love how this look came out. I love burgundy. Burgundy is one of my favorite colors, if not my favorite color. And it just looks really festive, really beautiful. I love it so much. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review on the Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer and ColourPop half collection. I love you guys very much and I'm so glad to be back. I'm so ready to film videos for you guys, edit them, and put them out there for you. So with that being said, I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you so much and I'll see you next time. I'm thinking you were made for me It's in my birthday, yeah Cause I gotta say you're looking